uh, please give the warmest welcome possible without breaching the public obscenity laws to Josh Littlejohn. <laughs> Good evening. I would like to sincerely thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. I would like to thank all of the businesses who competed across the various award categories and really got involved in the spirit of this event. Some of you will have won awards tonight. Congratulations. Some of you won't have won. Ultimately, that's not too important. What is important is that you are here and that you're involved. Because tonight is about much more than just the awards. It's about bringing our business community together. It's about celebrating our combined achievements, but it's also about change. It's about changing our economic system. It's about changing Scotland, and it's about changing the world. You may think that sounds idealistic or sounds far-fetched, but I don't think so. The companies in this room tonight are responsible for a combined turnover of over 35 billion pounds. 35 billion. Do you, do you know how enterprising you all are? Do you know how powerful you are? But what shall we, in this room, do with all of that power, with all of that enterprise? Well, our entire economic system is based around the maximization of profit. We're also focused on maximizing our profits. Success in business is defined by how well we maximize our profits. Tonight, awards will be given out. One of the criteria was how well the companies maximize their profits. In the textbooks and in the economics classes, the role of the entrepreneur is to one-dimensionally maximize profit. But you have to ask the question, is that all we are? Some sort of money-making machines? We're all so busy playing the game that we forget to look at the rules. We wrote the textbooks. We wrote the theories. What if we made the concept of business too narrow? What if we expanded it? What if success in business wasn't defined by how well we maximize our profit, but also by how well we overcame a pressing social problem, or by how many people were lifted out of poverty as a result of our company's efforts? What if we could harness the power of business to proactive and proactively use it to solve some of the most pressing social problems facing our country and facing our world? This was a question that was posed by the Nobel Peace Prize winner, Professor Mohammed Yunus, who's coming to Scotland on March the 7th for an event that we're hosting. Professor Yunus founded Grameen Bank, which many of you will have heard of, and in doing so, pioneered a global movement of microfinance for which he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006. Professor Yunus has created and defined an alternative concept of business that runs parallel to the traditional profit maximizing business. It's an idea called social business. Put simply, a social business is a non-loss, non-dividend company which exists to achieve a social objective. Professor Yunus has recorded a personal message and invitation for you, which we've incorporated into a slightly broader video to give it some background and context, and this we've played now. If we could roll that video, please. Although I am much too insignificant to speak for such a noble cause, I believe that Scotland can be a pioneering country in the creation of these social businesses and in doing so, the reconceptualization of capitalism as we know it. Tonight sees the launch of two things. Firstly, we're launching our own social business. This is a catering business that provides outside catering for businesses and day-to-day -day lunch delivery called Social Bite. You can see the sandwich wedges and things on your tables. It competes on the same frontiers as any other catering business would on quality, price, taste, convenience. But the key difference is, is that 100%, every single penny of the company's profits is channeled towards tackling social problems. Tonight also sees the launch of, as Professor Yunus mentioned in the video, of the Scottish Social Business Fund. This is a fund for Scotland. It's a fund that every single individual and every single business in this room can get involved in. There are, give or take, 85 tables here tonight, so more or less 85 companies in the room, all leaders in your field, all incredibly enterprising. Hypothetically, 
I wonder how much positive change we could make if all 85 companies here created a parallel social business to run alongside your existing businesses. It wouldn't have to be a big thing, it wouldn't have to cost a lot of money to start, it would just have to be a seed. If all 85 businesses planted this seed, then say we were all to come back here in a year's time, or all to come back in five years' time, when those seeds are grown into larger social businesses, then I am positive that Scotland would be a completely different place to live. It would be a place of unbelievable hope and a place of unbelievable inspiration for the rest of the world. It's been a long time since Scotland led the world at much, other than binge drinking, of course. <laughs> but we can be leaders in this. If you wish to find out more or get involved, you're welcome to come along as our guest to the Professor Eunice event on March the 7th. Uh, we also invite you to go to the website socialbusinessfund.co.uk.